Today's topic is gift tax. I think a lot of you will find this very useful. And the question is, when you make out a check, let's say to an adult child, to a grandchild, or to any beneficiary, um, whether it's to help out with tuition payments, you just want to make a gift, you're in a generous mood, or whether that gift is with intent to qualify for government benefits like Medicaid, regardless of the reason, the question arises, will the individual accepting the check, or will I, as the grantor, the person making that gift, um, have to pay or be responsible for any tax, gift tax? And the answer is, for the wide majority of individuals making gifts, the answer is no. And the reason being is that the current 2021 um, exclusion for the unified gift and estate tax. So what that means is, in plain language, the amount of money you are able to give away without paying any tax, gift and estate tax, is $11,700,000 per person, or double that if you're a married couple. So that's $23,400,000 for a married couple. You can give this amount away during your life or post-mortem after death without any gift or estate tax, right? Because that, that tax is unified. It is the same number for during your lifetime and post-mortem. So if you're making out a check for, let's say, $150,000 to your adult child, you and that adult child would not have to pay any tax, okay? The, the, the limit is very high. You just heard the numbers. The uh, Congress passed in, in 2012 the ATRA, American Taxpayer Relief Act, and supposedly is permanent, but as we all know, nothing in Congress is ever really permanent. But those limits that you just heard about are the limits for 2021. They've been going up and up um, from 2012, where I believe, if my memory serves me correct, the initial limits were about $5 million per person, 10 per couple, and now it's gone all the way up to that $11.7 million per individual. So what happens if you do make that gift check out? Let's say it's $150,000. Uh, you don't pay that. There is no tax, but your accountant must make out for any gift in excess of $15,000 per year to any individual or organization, as long as it's a, it's, a, it's a gift. Your accountant must file a gift tax return. That is for purposes of tracking, right? Because the IRS wants to know how much you have left of that $11.7 million exemption. So anything over $15,000 must be reported via that gift tax return. Um, of course, this is a very, you know, this is like a nutshell and this is very helpful information. There's some nuance here with regard to state law. Um, New York tracks that federal exclusion, but there's some nuance in, in terms of portability and other complex um, tax and estate questions that you should definitely consult with either an estate lawyer or a tax professional. Um, but I think you'll find this information very helpful. And um, for any personal questions, feel free to call our office. We'll be very happy to assist you. Have a wonderful day and thank you for listening.